right, so once again, we are back in the whiteboard. And in this video, we're going to talk about changing your whiteboard background for individual pages. Now, you may recall in a previous video, uh, we talked about changing your default settings. If we go to the settings button here, the button looks like a little gear, and there's default settings right there. So we could change, uh, or excuse me, we could set up our default background. We could set up our default writing utensils. So every time we fire up the whiteboard, it's always going to choose those as a default. But there may be instances when you create a new page with the new page button down here, which is the plus, maybe you want something different than your default background. And you can absolutely make that happen. So instead of just tapping our new page button, which would just give us the same thing uh, as our default, uh, what we would do is touch and hold this button. Oh, okay, now it gives us a background window. And we can choose a different color. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this color for now, but we can choose a different color. And then pattern here, this section. Oh, we got some options here for some pre-configured whiteboard backgrounds. So for fun, I'm just gonna choose this notebook paper, hit add, and there you go. So we definitely have some options in that window. If I pull that back up again, just touch and hold, I'm in the background window. We've got some pre-configured options there, so you can certainly play with those to your heart's content. Uh, but if we want to, we also have the ability to import a picture uh, and use that as our whiteboard background. Uh, so if you had a nice picture of, say, the Earth as viewed from space, we could absolutely make that happen. Now, before I show you that, um, one thing to note is that because these are 4K panels, these are big 4K screens, very high resolution, to have the best results, you actually want to make sure that you use at least 4K pictures. And that will give you the best chance of having that fill the screen and, and look nice. And in fact, uh, here we are in our pattern section. If I scroll down, there's that custom button that gets you there. And in fact, it even tells you recommended size uh, 3840 by 2160. That's, a, that's 4K. That's 4K. So it's actually giving you that recommendation right out of the shoot there. But I'm going to go ahead and hit that custom button. And it's going to give me a window that lets me choose where I want to grab that picture from. Now, I do this every day. So, of course, I have things in my reasons folder. I have things in my downloads folder which is where I keep these things. If you want to choose a specific folder, like say your Google Drive, just as an example, you would go to the menu button, which is the three lines here in the corner, and then choose the file commander. It'll open the file commander window and then you could choose uh, whatever you need from right there. Again, I do this every day, so I keep things in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna go back to that. There's that picture that we saw there briefly. I'm gonna go ahead and fire that up and there you go. So we can absolutely have a nice picture be the canvas for our whiteboard so that we can scribble on it and put objects on it. And so that's a great way if you're looking to change the background for your whiteboard, just touch and hold that plus. It brings to the background window so you can choose a pre-configured option or import a picture so you can have your own.